Okay, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to go for an event uh, run through of Mario's birthday event. But at the same time, I'm sorry, short disclaimer, I'm sorry if my background's very noisy as it's raining outside. It's rainy season here in my place, so yeah. Anyway, before I start the event, again, uh, just a little reminder for on how this banner works. It's a birthday banner, so whatever your PT from Artem's birthday event and not Secret of the Tomb, okay? So Artem's first birthday event, whatever your PT was there, is going to get carried over to this banner, okay? But in case that you did not get Mario's SSR, which is this one, not the permanent SSR one, uh, your PT will still be safe as long as you get the permanent SSR. But in case that you get the birthday SSR, obviously your PT will reset. Now, assuming you weren't able to get him and you're out of stash or you gave up on this banner, then this PT will be carried over to the next birthday, which in uh, for Global's case is going to be Vin's second birthday SSR, okay? But the rerun of the birthday banners is in a separate banner, okay? I'm going to be posting my Hoyo Lab article about the second birthday versus the first birthday so that you will have a comparison and at the same time, an idea on what the cards will look like or like the stats and everything, okay? Now, of course, the basic question, smash or pass, for me, it depends on your deck because this is an empathy card, okay? Uh, Mario's empathy card is strong, actually. Like, at first, it gives you like a good boost for like one turn and then the um, second passive, the first passive rather or the second skill actually increases its own in influence based on the number of Mario's cards that you have. So if you're a Mario stan and you really really want this card and you're lacking empathy cards then go for it. Otherwise, I suggest you save for anniversary because one anniversary is around the corner around next month because the game is released in July 30. So obviously around like one to two weeks before the anniversary date, they're going to release an event or like a pre-anniversary thing. Okay, so do take note there's going to be an anniversary banner there. So if I were you, I'm going to save for an anniversary. It's much steamier you get the kissy scenes if you want uh it has pre-empty strike which is like a good dps card so yeah that's what i would suggest but of course this is all up to you if you have enough stash or you prefer this card over anniversary then go ahead okay next let's go to the event proper now so this is similar to all the previous birthday events for the first birthday event okay because come the second birthday event is going to have a different mechanic again it's going to be in my hoyo lab article i'm going to post that in the description okay so uh the first thing you can see here is you have all these numbers right all the way until 40 now this means that you need to do 40 investigations so what are investigations investigations are basically these nodes okay you have the exclamation point and the question mark so question marks are you just asking people around okay so there's no debates there while the exclamation point has debate do take note that your deck power is recommended at thirty thousand or thirty one thousand, but it needs to have all mario's cards so in my case yeah, like this. <laughs> okay, it will auto arrange for you. Don't forget to put auto build on your support deck because sometimes it's not updated. So yeah, again, Mario's cards only. Okay, should be doable if you're a veteran player. Okay, now for every node that you've done, it will increase your fatigue. So for me, example, a while ago I did one uh one node. It increased my fatigue by a few percent. So once this reach until a hundred percent, you cannot. Uh, do any more investigations so do watch out for that try to fill up your fatigue all the way to 100% so that you will actually maximize okay as usual there'll be event tasks there'll be daily tasks and then the event tasks now the yummy the yummy stuff are of course the tiers and the art cards and invitation and badge now i would suggest to do not skip this event try to finish it as best as you can like try to log in every day do the investigations every day okay because come next year there is no rerun for the invitation. You have to pay for it. And that's around 11 to $13, which is kind of expensive where you have gotten it for free. So try to do this event as to the best of your ability, especially if you're a beginner because it's hard to bring yourself to 30000 with Mario's only cards. So yeah, just try your best. As for the art cards, it will come next year, but in the form of gacha. Again, it's going to be in my Hoyo Lab article. Uh, of course, the badge. Uh, I have not seen a badge that has gone to rerun. So yeah, as much as possible, do not skip this event. I'm going to emphasize that. <laughs> okay the moment that you enter this event by reading the prologue you already get one copy of the r card so if you in case you missed out the rest of the copies then it's okay but missing out the invitation is a big oof <laughs> in my opinion okay now this item this participants list basically it's like an instant refresh okay so let's just uh fi try to finish the batch of stuff here first okay okay assuming that i've already finished the whole wave of notes okay this item basically uh skips your waiting time because it takes one hour to refresh then you come back again for another wave okay so using this one would instantly refresh it bam yeah see so you got your four nodes back again and at the same time you can get this this one quickly this this two tasks okay so what are this this item for the sincere gift the sincere gift is basically for this one okay so your goal is to set up everything okay 
during the whole event. That way, you can proceed to the story, and uh, it's part of the event task as well. So, for example, I'm gonna use this the the event task decorate finish. Yes. Yeah. So you get extra items along the way as well. So yeah, just keep playing all the way. If in case it happens that you finish the event early, normally at the uh, active playing speed, you would finish the whole event around three days, two to three days before uh, Marius's birthday. So just wait until June 21. It's like one, one week from this day was recorded. So just wait until his birthday. After you finish the, reading the birthday story, then that's the time you can unlock the this thingy, okay? There are dates placed there at the side, which means it will only open after this date. You just won't feel it much if you're an active player because you, you're by the time you finish grinding, the date has already passed or something like that, except for the last date. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, hopefully you can get your Marius SSR for those who's going to pull. And yeah, enjoy losing her's birthday. <laughs> he, he deserves the love. SMH. <laughs> so yeah, good luck to all the TTS out there. Alright, until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.